बोरघाट टी इज तालघाट What is the next answer? Seventh one. C is answer. Flow test is determination on the floor of the house. It's done by the means of secret ballot, voice vote, division vote by gadget. That is open ballot. All the three. What is a flow test normally? What happens in a floor test? Ruling party. Ah, ruling party proving its confidence in the house. That's all. So there are three types: secret ballot, voice vote. It's normally open ballot because the MLAs have to like tell their preferences and show that to the representative who is there. It, it's that way. But there are three kinds of vote. We use open ballot in India. Next one. What the answer? Right, C is answer. Next one, key theme of World Development Report. Who gives World Development? World Bank. What is in the news after COVID-19? What happened after 1990s? 1990s. LPG. Ah, so what is the answer? Global value chains. This is a theme for this year, for 2020. It's mainly after 2008 global financial crisis. Next question. Satriya performance culture. What is Satriya? To which cult does it belong? Shaivism, Vaishnavism. Vaishnavism. Satriya dance is a dance. Performing of Vishnu. It's a classical dance form. Who is the chief minister of Assam? He belongs to a tribe. Sarbananda Sonwal. Okay? Sonwal is a tribe. So these uh, these groups perform satriya dance. There is no sono here. What is Majuli? It's the largest river in Ireland, created by Brahmaputra, all over the world, in the world. Largest river in Ireland is Majuli. There are Majuli tribes. Then there are Chatrasal, Kuch Bihar. Everyone perform this dance, satriya dance. Who doesn't perform? Malegao. Malegao. Why don't they perform? Is Malegao is a mostly a Muslim dominated area. We had Malegao blast in the past, mainly because of Muslim domination, they don't perform the dance. So, if you eliminate Malegao, you get the answer as Majuli, Chatrasar and Kuch Bihar. 1, 3 and 4. Kuch Bihar is in West Bengal. What is the answer? 10th one? C is answer. C. Virus mainly infect the programs. Worms don't infect the programs. They don't infiltrate legitimate files. They copy themselves, double, triple, four times, five times, like that. Those are worms. Worms, not virus. Virus, are the, they random come. Yeah. What is the malware? Hmm. Files, yeah. Malware just deletes the files. What does virus do? Virus, it converts a legitimate file into illegitimate files. But malware deletes the files. All of Trojan, what is a Trojan? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Right. What does Trojan do? It just plays on the security. It impacts the security of a system. Okay, Trojan does impact from it enters from the back door and just 
security is lost it will help the hackers to get into the network computer network so that is trojan understand the key differences that's all small small difference worms virus trojan malware those will be very important in the exam what is a spyware spyware yeah whatever you do those activities are surveillance normally that's a spyware it it can be through a mail can be through a, a authenticated mail a person whom you know also can send a mail and a link through which you can uh, detect a spyware there is a spyware in that okay those are called bona fide emails emails uh, for example i send you a mail that also might contain a spyware okay so there are malware spyware virus worms and hawks hawks you know right people do hawks calls as bomb blast here happening here hawks calls hawks hoax a uh, hawks calls those are hawks it just wants it just wants the person like i send him a mail send him a warning that uh, your uh, files are hacked that's a hoax that, that that's not true but i just send you okay you will be panicked that way you will complain the police so there are different types of uh, this thing uh, malware adware spyware adware is through ads there will be some uh, this thing links which are harmful to you and your programs worms and virus you understood right trojan is backdoor entry into the completely it spoils the security of the system virus only the certain programs okay worms okay that's all does it copy itself and the files itself not the files files only virus has to do something with the files worms just it replicates it's like uh, dna you can call that. but like it will be in the form of file only they replicate hmm hmm random copies of itself understood the difference right virus worms trojans spyware malware hoax any doubt any doubt hoax also deletes the file whichever file you want it deletes normally phishing phishing is like uh, you are into a network hoax you get a mail phishing uh, you uh, you you go into someone's else profile and look into that is phishing i'll i'll tell you in detail tomorrow hmm hmm yeah 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 the suspect of phishing that's why right. <clears throat> next one what is the answer next one over the years transgenders have felt the artistic presence significantly felt by convening events such as all the three kinner is a transgender okay watch and watch and watch so in delhi and kuwagam in tamil nadu this kuwagam is india's largest transgender festival kuwagam it's in vellupuram district they say what happened here was there is a ku tandavar temple ku tandavar ku tandavar temple ku tandavar tandava ku tandavar temple here what happened was it is said that uh, for uh, mahabharata to happen for the pandavas to win someone had to sacrifice themselves any one of the male member had to sacrifice themselves so what happened was arjuna's son his name was aravan aravan he self sacrifice himself to great kali or not great kali kali the goddess kali okay what happened in the self sacrifice process after he sacrificed himself he uh, had three wishes one of the wishes was he wanted to marry okay before his death avun avunane bit kodidu andre self sacrifice devrige so he wanted to marry 
so what happened in case nobody nobody came to marry him okay nobody came to marry him because they were afraid the next day he would die so they'd be widowed so what did vishnu do vishnu converted himself into mohin this is the first thing where we can trace the transcender okay trace the transcender vishnu converted himself to mohini that is transcender and spent a day and night with the arava and from that day the transcenders declared themselves as there is a transcender cult and uh, it has followed from the mahabharata so they say that we are there in the mahabharata also and we are aravanis they call themselves as aravanis wives of aravan that's all that's the story which goes in uh, kuvagam festival that is in villupuram okay ha ah, it's in mahabharata arjuna son aravan is born to naga princess ulupi so he sacrifices himself for the victory of pandavas if the pandavas had to win someone had to sacrifice their life it's a myth not uh, true the okay, next question answer is 1 2 and 3 all the three places tell me the answer 12th one Twelfth one answer is A. See what are debentures? It's just writing in the agreement, debt obligation. That is debenture. Normal debt obligation. I have to pay you this much. That is the debenture. What are ND NCDs? Debentures. There is no collateral in debentures. It's unsecured. Okay, NCDs. NDC or uh, NCDs, right? Non-convertible debentures. They can't be converted into shares. These debentures, some can be converted into shares. Okay, some cannot be converted into shares. So the those debentures which cannot be converted into shares are called non-convertible debentures. So what do these do? Non-convertible debentures. What do these do normally? see the second statement they are used as tools to raise long term funds by companies through a public issue okay they are depend on the credit worthiness and reputation of the issuer not on the collateral eno land adala idbek anta illa normally it depends on the credit worthiness of the company how how is it performing even the country like if a country has to borrow how much how is it performing in uh, global terms that all is seen it mainly is credit worthiness and reputation of the country or the company whichever it is ha ah, ha ah, yeah a verbal agreement that i have taken the debt from you and there's no collateral involved that's a debenture and which cannot be converted into shares those are called non convertible debentures simple right and uh, these ncd they have high liquidity and uh, except profits and returns from the shares are more so companies prefer non convertible debentures rather than debentures debentures so hmm. ncds statement 3 what is the rights issue rights issues are used by companies seeking to raise capital without increasing debt what is rights issue normally rights issue is nothing it's a offering like if you want to buy additional capital from my company i'll offer you please buy my additional shares please buy my additional shares you buy my additional shares this the offering i made to you i am the issuer i am offering you that is called rights issue that's all you are already my share i am a company okay he is a shareholder in my company he holds 20 20% you hold 20% you hold 5 5 to 10% okay imagine so now i have some 50% left out i have some debts to clear okay i'll ask you please take my 5% sir please take my 5% you take my 5% sir you also take my 5% sir i'll offer you got it right on market value this, these are offered at discount that's one more thing i'm offering you a discount shares okay those are rights issue my company i have a debt behind i i don't want to create more debt i am asking the shareholders only you are all my shareholders Okay, I'm asking you. You take my five percent. You take my five percent. You take my additional, so that additional capital happens to me. That's all. That is rights issue. See this fourth statement. Shareholders are obliged to purchase shares offered in rights issue. They're not obliged. It's voluntary. You can offer me five percent. He can offer me five. It's voluntary. Okay. Arthaya thala rights issue under anta. 
so basically it is like uh, increasing capital without increasing debt it is offered at a discount on the market price rights issues and its additional shares not the already shares which i have you already have the sir ni matra already on the 20 20% irutte nan matte 5% offer martene i am offering it's it's not obligation nim compulsory and buy madbeku anta illa it's your wish if you want you can buy if you don't want you need not buy so see the word obliged in ups also they'll confuse you like obliged compulsory voluntary all these words are used for confusing it's a very simple topic right so debentures ndcs so if you eliminate obliged four four you are left with two options a and b so look at the second one ncs are used as tools to raise long term funds by companies through public issue so answer is a okay any doubts in this debentures Hmm. Correct, correct. Simple state, short statements and simple statement. Option seems to be correct. Generally, general statements. UPSC is like they test you on general basis, not specific fields, because we don't know what is debenture. The science people may not know what is debenture. Okay, so that it special. It's it's a very simple, simple concepts are covered. That's all. Debenture, NDCs, what is capital market, what is share market, who is regulating it. all those things are covered who is regulating the banking sector simple simple things they don't complicate it very simple it is economy what is the current issue that is mainly asked ways and means advances it's not present there why why would they ask that it was present during those days the 90s and all so ways and means advances is outdated now so economy be uh, prepared with the current events what all other what is going on in the present issue after covid mainly after covid it's easy right got my point right rights issue debentures and ndcs next one see every panchayat unless soon or dissolved under any law for the time being enforced shall continue for 5 years from the date appointed for its first meeting and no longer is it true which article speaks about this article 243 e duration of panchayats first statement is correct second statement is it correct so what it should be yes, remaining for okay if uh, panchayat is dissolved for 2 years after 2 years it is dissolved so will it continue for 5 years or 3 years what it right remaining period will continue so second statement is wrong answer is a1 only so if there is 6 uh, months for the panchayat tenure to end will they dissolve it or will they continue they will continue 6 months is the time duration for the panchayat elections to be held if there is only 6 months less than 6 months then they won't again conduct the election they will conduct the election only after the tenure is completed what my point is it right article 243 e ha 6 months or less they won't conduct elections the same panchayat will continue only after the tenure is completed only after hmm same thing uh, they they won't conduct the election election won't be conducted the, no panchayat will be there the same panchayat the previous panchayat will only perform ah uh, dissolved panchayat only will be there till the election is over 6 months before yeah ah uh, more than 6 months more than 6 months 6 months or less you can't dissolve a panchayat or you can't conduct elections got it right it's under article 243 e next question 14th one ha ah. hmm anybody yeah. dissolving is equal to conducting new elections for panchayat only valid for panchayat that you remember no they will conduct the elections and conduct it for 5 years 92 election or the 96 election were conducted again by elections 97 like that only in the panchayat at 6 months or less 
the whole new term for example elections are conducted on 14 june 2020 okay from 14 june 2020 for the next 5 years there will be ruling okay that is 14 june 2020 five right till that time for, for example your uh, assembly or the legislature or the parliament has resolved on 20th june 2020 okay 20th june 2020 keep the date and elections will be conducted within the 6 months period because they need time for election commission needs time to conduct election so elections will be conducted somewhere in january 2021 okay from january 2021 till january 2026 the uh, who win the election new term will start yeah hmm hmm finished got it right next one what is the question 14th one with reference to contingency fund of india fund is established directly by the constitution of india true contingency fund of india what does the article say article 115 or 116 it is mentioned but directly is it mentioned that uh, there is contingency fund of india you can take money whenever you want hmm hmm 265 266 266a it is mentioned it is mentioned implicitly but what it tells is parliament by law has to make contingency fund of india not like consolidated fund of india contingency fund of india when an emergency arises like a disaster covid if you want to take money from the contingency fund of india parliament by law has to make uh, has to make a law to remove funds from contingency fund of india so first statement is wrong that is article 115 115 Mm, a new law has to be passed, but not for consolidated fund of India, contingency fund of India. Hmm hmm. Consolidated fund of India? Ah, they vote. Some they vote, and some is charged to the consolidated fund of India, like the salaries, pensions, all those. Okay, fund is placed at disposal of the president. Is it right? Correct, right? it is placed at the disposal this contingency fund is placed at the disposal of the president president has it when an emergency arises you can ask the president ask for permission and withdraw the money next one no such fund exists at the state level if no such fund existed then how would they use the funds for floods and all if center doesn't give fund there will be some funds so article 205 and 206 talks about this fund contingency fund of the state when there is consolidated fund of india there is consolidated fund of state there should be con- contingency fund of the state mm no such yeah no such fund exists extreme extreme statement so 3 3 you eliminate you get the answer is b2 only next question i'll go a bit fast okay no mind if you have any doubts ask 15 question Plant growth can contribute to physical erosion in the process called bioerosion. Is it true? How? How can plant growth can contribute to physical erosion? See, in tropical areas, think think diversely. Rock built areas, roots of the plants. Correct. Right. They break the the roots of the plants. They penetrate right deep into the soil. When they penetrate deep into the soil, they break the rock surface. Okay, rocks cracks are getter rocks only. Cracks are getter na getter. A rock flow getter. Top soil mel barater. So that that is erosion taking place. That's called bio erosion. Hmm hmm. They uh, hmm. they prevent floods. They uh, they prevent deforestation. All those all those results true. <laughs> hmm hmm. When where the soil is bound by a rock, okay, hard rocks and 
tropical forest mainly where there's rock inside the deep penetration of the rock they break the rocks that's all in other areas it's very helpful it's for water penetration aeration all those is created by the plants itself because nitrogen is present in the soil so it it uh, nourishes the soil mainly not be true yeah what is the question 15 yeah whatever they encounter they make cracks that's all mainly the rock portion that we remember now this is generalized yeah plant growth can go yeah yeah there's no specific mention of that so to be very careful with these type of options see the other options if if in this case see the other three options if they are right then all the options will be right all the options will be right most probably but then option is there like first one here the hmm hmm the one to three four or two three four that you have to take chances yeah. these type of questions or you can leave that not necessary you can attempt 85 to 88 questions is a good attempt in upsc there is rest 12 questions are ambiguous with this mate and geography polity there are ambiguous questions um, you can leave it but this is ambiguity the first option the second option landslides and other forms of mass wasting are associated with physical weather in true or false true right all the rocks debris comes down when there is landslides kodagu chikmagalur sakleshpur landslides you can see then the third one rill erosion what is a rill rill see there are four types of erosion okay splash erosion sheet erosion rill erosion and gully erosion splash splash erosion sheet erosion rill erosion and gully erosion hmm waterfall the splash is nothing when you take uh, when the water droplets from the rainfall falls on the soil there is some this thing created right top soil is like mood a simple way remember that splash so in a splash a top soil is just spread the part that's called splash erosion what will be like sheet erosion hmm floods are not not floods uh, as a whole erosion like uh, as it's a layer a runoff is created like in uh, a stream like thing is created very small valleys are created uh that be gully that will be large valley large valley is gully i'll tell you the difference sheet erosion what happens a small uh, only the top soil is removed in sheet erosion see splash erosion just the soil is spread sheet erosion top soil is removed top only in the hillock regions and that is uh, rill erosion what you're talking about see splash erosion just the top soil is spread okay and sheet erosion this top soil is removed only the top soil is removed okay remember it that way sheet erosion only top soil is removed and next comes is uh, rill erosion in this rill erosion it flows as a runoff this rill erosion and sheet erosion mainly take place at hilly regions okay splash erosion any region it can take place sheet erosion and rill erosion mainly hilly areas what happens in a sheet erosion just the top soil is removed and there is a flow in the next flow what we see is rill erosion okay interrelated two steps of erosion and types also there are steps also there are types of rill erosion there is complete flow and a small valley like thing is created like you can uh, you have been to make that to been to make that to no the rocks that are cut and valley is created make that to so that is a type of rill erosion a small valley is created but gully erosion what happens a large valley is created when there are rain when there is rain full of water when there is no rain it will be like a depth valley like grand canyon valley you can remember or make that only can remember when there is water it's one type when there is no water it is other type like there is no water at all it's like a valley it's like a patal patal lock okay so firstly is splash erosion then a sheet erosion 
then is rill erosion, then is gully erosion. Rill is small valleys, gully is large valleys. Which are for uh, hill slope? Gully is for mainly clay, clay soil. It cuts through clay soil and makes deep channels, gully erosion. First is splash erosion, then comes sheet erosion, then comes rill erosion, then comes gully erosion. Gully is like huge erosion, a lot of erosion taking place. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, yeah. This can be steps of, you can explain this in uh, like in a UPS, in UPSC if there is a mains question, what are the types of erosion or what are the steps of erosion, you can explain this. But don't mention like uh, real erosion or uh, don't mention the types. When, when asked for types, you mention the types. When asked for steps, just mention the steps. It forms in a rill. First it forms a small valley. Then later the soil flows in a, a vertical direction and it forms a bigger valley called a smaller. In rainy season, these are uh, filled with water. In uh, dry seasons, they are like a valley, complete valley which, is, uh, which has a huge depth. Okay? These are mainly due to erosion, soil flow. There is something called mud flow also. Ah, write the names. If they ask for uh, steps, just explain the steps and uh, give a conclusion. How can it be prevented? How can erosion be prevented? Plant trees, afforestation, crop rotation, all those things. You stop using pesticides, organic farming, ZBNF, all those you can write. Got my point, right? <clears throat> Example, there is fish river canoeing of valley erosion. There is uh, something called valley erosion also. After this, there are valleys formed, like Great Canon. Great Canon, you know, like make it that only. There are valleys formed, big valleys, huge valleys. Great Canon, then Fish River Canon, all those. These are in Namibia. Namibia, this is the largest canon in Africa. Understood, right? Types of erosion. Next one. Next one, 16. Ocean vents are primarily found around mid-ocean ridges and volcanic arcs. Correct? What are ocean vents? Hmm. They are nothing but uh, hydrothermal. They are hydrothermal in nature. They are hot, they are water. And the next, there are ocean winds, which are mainly in the mid oceanic ridges. Okay? So, first statement is correct. Mid oceanic ridges and volcanic arcs. Ocean winds are the product of tectonic activity beneath the ocean floor. Right? Both the statements are A is correct and R is an appropriate explanation of A. Mainly geysers. Where are geysers found? In India, are there any geyser? In India, there is no geyser, but hot springs are there. Okay? Oh, not of the Icelandic nature. The Yellowstone National Park in uh, US has uh, this uh, geysers. But in India, you have uh, Manikarnika in Himachal Pradesh, Tapovan in Uttarakhand, Vashist and Puga. Hot springs, just all. Small legs kind of thing and uh, they are hydrothermal in nature, similar to this oceanic vent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are uh, hotspots for geothermal energy. Puga Valley, mainly in Ladakh, that can be utilized. You know Sonam Wangchuk, Ice Tupa. Sonam Wangchuk, three idiots guy. He created an ice stupa of in summer. This uh, stupa could be used for drinking water. Similarly, he is planning for geothermal in Puga Valley. Just look into it, like Sonam Wangchuk. Next one. Got, got this, right? Oceanic vents and micro RNA. Micro RNA. This is science. So, any technique you can use here? Techniques. If you don't know anything, any technique? Usually it is between uh, science, all of the statements are correct. But the technique which I taught you, like any anything you can use here. Which the, which are the two options you can like eliminate? Yeah, 
A and D you can eliminate. Answer is between B and C. It's called singularity technique. When there are single statement, 2 and 3, like B 2 only, C 3 only, answer is between 2 and 3. Here answer is B 2 only. Because microRNA, they are non-coding proteins. Okay, they don't code. So, uh, first statement is they translate into protein in the body. Okay, these microRNA are the things which latch on to when uh, they fight the virus normally. When uh, your immune, in your immune system, these fight the virus, the microRNA. When the protein, the spike proteins from COVID-19 come and attack you into your body, there is something called ACE2. ACE2 is a receptor in your body, which uh, the spike proteins of the COVID, you know how COVID is, right? There is some genetic material here, something like this. It's like a crone shape, sorry. It's like a crone shape. It is this, the, only the, this thing, this genetic material is important. Only this thing that attaches to your body, this thing. These things attach to your body. Got it, right? There's something called ACE2. Ah, these are spike proteins. This is the receptor in your body. When these attack, this is the receptor in your body that responds to it. This ACE2 has microRNA. Okay, they fight. ACE2 fights with the spike proteins. But these microRNAs, they don't have proteins. Okay, they don't translate. They are non-coding. They don't code. But these proteins code itself and come into your body and spread. Like cancer cells. Okay. Got, got it, right? Why, why statement 1 is wrong? They don't translate. Other RNA molecules translate. See this microRNA, what it does is, they latch onto this. Okay. This is a microRNA thing. Okay, this is a microRNA. They latch onto this and they fight it. Okay. They fight it, either win or lose, it's on the body. Body's immune system. But their duty is to fight. They are responsible creating a line of attack against a viral infection. So, statement 2 is correct. Statement 3, miRNAs are and small interfering RNAs are equal, equivalent entities. What is small interfering RNAs? The third statement says they are equivalent entities, but the small interfering RNAs are formed from Okay. What is this called? Okay, this is a DNA, but this model is called double helical, double helix. Okay. What the statement is telling? Small interfering RNAs are formed from this. Okay. They are taken from double helix model. But this miRNA, what we are learning is uh, micro. MicroRNA, okay, these microRNA are formed from single strand RNA. This double helix model, which RNA is formed? Small interfering RNA. Okay. Small interfering RNA uses double helical model, and the microRNA follows which model? Single replicator. RNA is a single replicator model. It woves it itself. Idu adre erd kade idma gutte. RNA na gutte. Okay, for example, there is one RNA strand, a single strand. Okay. Okay. This will replicate into one more strand, one more strand, one more strand. This way, a single strand RNA. So they are telling miRNA is one into four equivalent entities. Are they equivalent? No. This is miRNA. This is small interfering RNA. So statement three is wrong. Answer would be B2 only. Next statement. IATA is a trade association with World's Airlines. Right or wrong? Right, right? Collaborative arrangement for prevention and management of public health events and civilization is an IATA led initiative. There is something called Hmm. Trade uh, airlines, they have a separate trade association. 
they control about 82 percent of the total air traffic this iata organization <clears throat> it's mainly about the airline industry it's an industry policy that's all Mm -hmm, yeah, they are like a trade association body, not rule sectors. Rule sectors, there is a body called uh, International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. It's not a regulation body, it's just a trade association body. They control the traffic, air traffic, freight management, all those. So, second statement says, Collaborative arrangement for prevention and management of public health events in civil aviation is an IIT led. I told you it's a trade related body. Why would they collaborate with uh, CAPSCA? Okay, they just do trade. I thought, okay, so I know trade. Uh, Andre, what, uh, what is fleet management to trade? Oh, yeah, different countries, airlines, any there. So they just do the fleet management. They are not involved in this. It is international civil aviation organization. There's something called organizational fallacy in uh, UPSC. They ask you, this is based in UN, this is uh, WTO, this is most probably 80% of the statements are supposed to be wrong. Okay, so this statement is wrong. <clears throat> Who does that? International Civil Aviation Organization. It's mainly due to COVID-19. This arrangement, prevention and management of public health events in civil aviation is by ICAO. It's mainly due to COVID-19. Got it, right? Any doubts? Next question, 19. Local air may be able to hold the most moisture per cubic meter in any techniques you can use here. CC. Tropical and tropical. Okay. Tropical and tropical. It's called internal similarity. You can eliminate A and D just by using tropical and tropical. You almost arrived at 50% of the answer. Okay. So, B and C, it's between B and C. What will be the answer? Tropical rainforest. There's rainfall also, there's high temperature also. Hold the most moisture per cubic meter. Where there's moisture? What is water vapor? What is water vapor? It's the amount of moisture content in the air. Okay. So, where, where this water vapor is more? desert areas so it's hot subtropical deserts okay in tropical rainforest there's rainfall also there's high temperature also so there's outgrowth of bacteria yeah that's what they're asking no they are more humid but uh, it depends on the water vapor capacity okay water vapor capacity increases with temperature increase when there is more temperature, there is water vapor capacity increases. More humidity. So it's a open land, right? In the beach. You can coastal regions. Local air may be hold the moist uh, moisture per cubic meter. No, but uh, as much as uh, this, where there is high temperature, it's a barren land, right? Uh, there are trees near the coastal areas also. So those trees are, give you some shade and humidity is controlled normally. But in uh, barren land like desert, there are, there is a local air may be hold to moisture is there. Okay, in coastal regions also there is moisture, in tropical rainforest also, in cold tundra regions. But they are asking most moisture per cubic meter. Where there is more water vapor, there will be more temperature. That region will be for, uh, desert region. Hmm. More of water vapor. More temperature, more water vapor. But in tropical rainforest, there is rainfall also. There is a 4 o'clock showers, right? 4 o'clock there is rainfall, 12 o'clock it's hot, again rainfall. Every day. But uh, in coastal regions, the coastal regions and uh, deserts are likely. Coastal deserts, if, if there is no deserts, then there will be coastal regions. Answer will be coastal regions. But there is desert, answer is uh, C. You can go with uh, option B and C, tropical, tropical, internal similarity, you'll get the answer is C. <clears throat> there is aridity also in uh, desert regions, more aridity in desert regions and high temperature, high water vapor content. Next question, what is the next question? Huh? 
हाँ हरप्पन स्ट्रक्टर्स वॉट ऑल ब्रीड मेकिंग वॉटरी बोट मेकिंग आंसर ऑल दो दे प्रैक्टिस एवरीथिंग विच आर द पोर्ट्स दे यूज फॉर बोट मेकिंग पोर्ट्स पोर्ट्स लोथल सुप्तगढ़ और ऑल दज वन पोर्ट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कैलविन साइकिल इज अ पार्ट ऑफ फोटो सेंथिस ट्रू ऑफ ऑल्स वॉट इज कैलविन साइकिल Hmm. It's nothing. Using sunlight and carbon dioxide, they produce the food. That is Calvin cycle. There is C3 cycle, C4 cycle. C3 cycle is more better, like maize. Why do they prefer C3 cycle? Is the transpiration loss is less in C3 cycle. So planting maize is better than planting wheat and rice because transfer. Hmm. Hmm. More water, less water is there. Water intensive crop. Even sugar cane is water intensive. And there is something called ratooning in sugar cane. Only the half portion is removed. Rest all it's left at that time. Okay, so Calvin cycle is a part of photosynthesis, right or wrong? Correct. Second one, plants and algae use the Calvin cycle to turn carbon dioxide from air into sugar. Both the statements are correct. That's all. Next question, twenty second. Government has accepted and implemented committee on expert. DB Shekhar Committee. What is the answer? Yeah. But you can eliminate. You can eliminate one. Why one? You can eliminate mandatory. Mandatory to adopt EPC mode for execution of all works for all border projects looks extreme. There will be some limit. That is 100 crores. All those works which is costing more than 100 crores, then it is mandatory to uh, go for engineering and procurement model, EPC model of PPP. But all border projects, then BRO won't get any project to go in. First statement is wrong. Second statement: prohibiting outsourcing. Road construction work of BRO to private agencies in view of border security. What about the second statement? Why true? Hmm. So it should be right or wrong. Prohibiting outsourcing road construction work of BRO to private agencies in view of border border security, but which is not under the optimal capacity of BRO. What should we do with that? If BRO can't do a project like a bridge, okay, I have to build a big bridge in Jammu and Kashmir on Chennai. I'm not able to. Okay, what should I do? Giving it to private, right? But you are right. But they are telling it's it's uh, under this uh, Shekhar committee is telling that we have to give which is uh, not in the optimal capacity of BRO. Nangi road construct mada kagi lagre road bridges or culverts. Then I can give it to a private agency, like a trusted agency, Ashok Leyland, Tata, Tata Sons, all those. So second statement is wrong. Third statement is right. So answer is A. Twenty-third. What's the answer? Worldwide Educating for the Future Index, UNESCO, is wrong. Answer is UNESCO is wrong. Tell the answer. Find some techniques and tell the answer. If you can apply some technique, it's good. Ah, uh, economist and economic. So answer will be between. Hmm. Answers between C and D. See, uh, what is the question asking? Worldwide educating for the future index. Okay, worldwide educating, educating. If you educate, what will happen? <laughs> That's the answer. Economist intelligence unit. 
So you can eliminate C between C and D. You have arrived the answer. Rest of the answer is left to God. Like 50 percent. 50 percent, I can assure you, this is right. Other 50 percent is left to you. It depends on the exam day. Okay. Next one. The set of countries bordering Myanmar. What are they? Hmm? Dear. Very close but very far. Yeah, see, why the Rohingya crisis is taking place in Bangladesh? Because it has a border with Myanmar. Okay. So, here, if you see Bangladesh, where all Bangladesh is there? A and C. Okay. B and D you can eliminate. So, you are left with Thailand, Laos and Bangladesh. C, Thailand, Bangladesh and Vietnam. What will you do? You go with A or C? Ah. You are eliminating Laos. I am going with Vietnam. So, you are going with the bigger one. Answer is A. Thailand, Laos and Bangladesh. And with India and China also shares border with Myanmar. Other two countries which shares border with Myanmar is India and China. Which all countries? India, China, Thailand, Laos, Bangladesh. Bangladesh, Thailand, Laos. No other countries like Malaysia, Vietnam, all those countries. Vietnam is far end. So, you can eliminate Vietnam here. Vietnam, Vietnam. Cambodia also is down. Like two down. So, Cambodia also you can eliminate. And by that way, you can get the answer as Thailand, Laos, Bangladesh. Only five countries have borders with Myanmar. Those are Thailand, Laos, Bangladesh, India, China. Five countries. Next question. International Telecommunications Union. What is the answer? D. Yeah. Answer is A. Membership of ITU is open to only UN members. ITU sets and publishes regulations standards related to electronic communication broadcasting technology. ITU sets and publishes regulations standards related to electronic communication. Oh, options are repeated. Sorry. Answer is A. 1, 2, and 3. 20, 21, 25. Only UN members. ITU. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it is not uh, binding on the member countries. Okay, this ITU, it's left to them, not binding on the member countries. But only even members can be part of it. International Telecommunication Union. Next question. Similar deputation to Minto, 1906, was for C. Separate electorates and better representation of Muslims. Who went? Who went there to Minto? Muhammad Ali Jinnah. He was leading the deputation in 1906. It started from Syed Ahmad Khan. Okay, from the beginning. Then it ended with Simla deputation. There are different uh, Simla this thing. Don't get confused. There's Simla conference 1945. Vavil did that. Lord Vavil's plan was also called as Simla conference. And there's Simla agreement. When did Simla agreement take place? Between Indira Gandhi and... Uh, Ah, when was it? 1972. After India created a new country called Bangladesh, there was Shimla agreement. So that uh, the same thing was discussed. We won't interfere with you anymore. And uh, your soldiers surrender in front of us. General Niazi Khan surrendered. Okay, Almost about 1 lakh soldiers of Pakistan. Our general was uh, Field Marshal Sam Manikshaw. Don't get confused. Shimla agreement is 1972. Shimla conference is 1945. Shimla deputation. Remember deputation. When do you take a deputation? When you want something. When Muslims wanted separate electorates, they went to Minto in 1906. Ah, Shimla agreement 1972. After the war, Indo-Bangladesh, Indo-Pakistan war 1971. Okay, next. 
National Migrant Information System. Remember, this question is in news. Okay. So, what will be the answer? Just think. What is COVID-19? National Disaster Management Authority. Here, everything is used. Mobile numbers for contact tracing, where you are going, what you are doing. This National Migrant Information System, it has a central repository. Okay, normally, it has everything of migrants. Where do they go? Where have they come from? What are the details of them? Mobile numbers, their other linked jam. They have jammed this thing, right? Jandan other number. So, through that, you can get to know what all they have done. It is developed by NDMA. Remember that. Remember COVID-19? National migrants. Migrants are moving from one place to another. What scheme do you have for them? Which scheme do you have for migrants? Manrega. Okay. Manrega is there. Then uh, Shramyogi Mandan Yojana is there. Atmanirbhar Bharat. All this comes under Atmanirbhar Bharat. Read that one, Atmanirbhar Bharat. It's very, document is very hefty and you can expect questions this time. Incremental capital output ratio. What is it? Answer is A. What is actually increment, incremental capital output ratio? So? Okay, that's all. Okay, you are almost right. It's the investment capital for additional unit of production. Or you want more output. You want additional output for that. Not already existing. Additional output, you have put in more capital to get more output. That is it. It is uh, calculated by annual investment by annual increase in GDP. So, why second statement is wrong? So, it is mainly additional capital required to produce additional output. Okay. You have uh, already a capital. You need more capital. Okay. It is additional capital required to produce additional output, more output. So, it is not, uh, it has generated the next unit of production. Uh, the question itself says, it's an entity, amount of investment capital necessary for an entity to generate the next unit of production. Not already what they have, a new unit or a new uh, study center if you want to open. Okay, that is a new unit of production. Okay. So, how is it calculated? Annual investment by annual increase in GDP. Why the second statement is wrong? How? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, correct. If, for example, <clears throat> for example, if a country has ICOR as 10, okay, what can you make out if a country has ICOR as 10? Hmm? If a country has ICOR, this is in incremental capital output ratio as 10. $10 is spent, $10 is spent to create $1 of extra production, okay, remember, $10 capital is spent to create how much? $1 of extra production or extra output, okay. So, here what happens? Last year my IC over us 12. This is 2020. This year it is 10. Just tell, like, my efficiency has increased or am I like, uh, my efficiency has? No. As the number decreases, efficiency increases. Okay. Last year it was 12, this year it is 10, 10, okay. So, last year it was 12, this year it is 10. So, my efficiency has increased. It is inversely proportional. <clears throat> if 10 dollar is required for 1 dollar of production, then how much would 12 dollar require? It will require less or more. 
don't get confused here <clears throat> if 10 dollar capital is spent to produce 1 dollar increase in production so how much would 12 dollar require last year i would require more capital right for 12 you think it that way so as the icor decreases the efficiency increases got it don't get confused as the icor decreases icor decreases efficiency increases okay so last year if it was 12 this year if it is 13 what is it last year my icor was 12 this year it is 13 so my efficiency decreased last year it was 12 this year it is 13 so my efficiency decreases okay got it don't get confused as ICOR is uh, less, it is good for the country. What is it? What is ICOR? It is additional capital required to produce additional output. It is by annual investment by increase in GDP. Other formula for ICOR. Got it, right? ICOR. Next one, biofin. Any techniques you can use here for biofin huh? between yes you are right between A or D answer is between A or D choose the most appropriate option is a UPSC question in UPSC it is neither wrong or no, no it's not about right or wrong it's the most appropriate option they are telling so choose among the most appropriate option does environment has to do with uh, finance or uh, so answer is UNDP A got it right this technique is easy right it's working right 50% you will have chances of getting right or wrong among the 50% you should be very careful in choosing the right option such options you can leave it for later like almost 40-50 questions you would know like properly you would know other 20 questions you can use these techniques and arrive at the answer among this 20 at least 10 would be correct so your chances of getting right or wrong is 50 percent you see the next question you guys tired or something no or oh, next question chairperson of panchayat of the village what is the answer for this What do you think is the answer? See, for everything there should be a legislature of the state. A legislation should be passed. Answer is C, both 1 and 2. That depends on the UPSC. <laughs> Short statements are normally correct. If you when we when we saw UPSC questions all the ten years, you would see a pattern followed. Short statements are normally correct from 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. So long statements are uh, we don't know probability. We have to take permutation and combination. So both the statements are correct. Number of the house, the panchayat, the village. Next question. Consider the following options naturally found in India. Which of these are naturally found in India? All of the above. Flying squirrel is found in any specific area, you know? Nilgiris. Flying squirrel is in Nil. What is Mundjak? Mundjaks. Any idea where they are found? Monjaks? No, they are not type of monkeys. They are called barking deers. They are found in Terai region. Okay. India, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Indonesia, they are found everywhere. So, answer is D, 2 and 3. Next question, basic structure doctrine. Answer? No, ah, answer is D, all the three. Basic structure doctrine. C, Keshwananda Bharti case. What did it tell? 
Constitution. So, which article mainly? 39. 13 is judicial review also there. One more article, main article where amendment can take place. 368. We can amend article 368, but it, it shouldn't infringe on the basic structure of the constitution. What are the tenets of basic structure of constitution? What all it contains? Like the rule of law, secularism, fundamental rights, all those fall under basic structure doctrine. Parliamentary democracy, constitutionalism, you can't go against the tenets of the constitution. Under article 13, there is judicial review also. Anything which is against the fundamental rights is also against the basic structure doctrine. In case on the Bharti case, it was given like properly. Next question. You can find any techniques here for 33rd. Safin. Uh -huh. Techniques are working, right? Eliminate B and D. <clears throat> answer will be between international and international. What is the answer? Finance and Agri. See, the question itself says smallholder and Agri, SME, Finance and Investment Network. So, answer is C, International Fund for Agriculture Development. Thirty-four. What is the answer? Where you have seen Red Cross? B. B is the answer. Major international humanitarian movement. If you don't know the answer, how can you guess in this question? Any similarity of it? Ah, Red Cross is like everybody knows, right? Medical emergency and in war war prone areas, they're like. Next question: Common service centers. They implement all the panchayat digital modernization production projects in rural areas. When you become DC, if everything is left to the common service centers, what would you do? Okay. It is under the supervision of the DC, all these take place. Okay. So they implement all the panchayat digital modernization projects in rural areas wrong. Some of them are given to common service centers, like kiosk. It's like a kiosk, like if you want to do a Jandan Aadhaar account or a agriculture soil health card, all those you can go there. But it is under the supervision of district collector of that district. So, option B is wrong. First statement is a simple statement. They are the access points for delivery of various electronic services in rural areas. That is there. Simple statement is supposed to be correct. So, A is the answer, one only. It is under the ministry of which ministry? Which ministry? Information. Correct. The Ministry of Electronics and Information, METI. Governance. Next, Dead Sea is sandwiched between Jordan and Israel. Okay, there is something called complex similar that we'll learn in the next class. Okay. Black Sea, not Black Sea, Caspian Sea. Caspian Sea is between which one? Hmm? Do you know any code for this? You know, right? Tariq. Or Kathir. And Black Sea? Tea and burger or rugby. But tea burger. Okay. Tariq is Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan, Russia, Iran, Kazakhstan. This is Turkey, Bulgaria, Ukraine, Russia, G is Georgia, R is again Romania. T and burger. This is Tariq. <clears throat> Mediterranean Sea, there is mantle, I will tell you tomorrow. One is mantle, this is for uh, African countries. Remember mantle, but uh, 
only for African countries. Mali, Algeria, Tunisia, Libya and Egypt. Okay. Only for the top countries. Uh, Europe countries, I will tell you tomorrow. There is something called complex similarity also. If you notice in the question, in this type of questions where there are two options, Jordan and Turkey, Jordan and Israel, Israel and Syria, Turkey and Lebanon. What are repeating two times? Jordan is repeating twice, Israel also is repeating twice, Turkey is also repeating twice. So, here you have three things. But the two options which are repeating are in one option. What is the option? Jordan and Israel. So, you have to be very careful. Jordan and Turkey, oh, that is also there. So, you will be left with A and B in this case. Then you have to eliminate and get the answer. But it is very complex. That's why it's complex similarity. Okay. Next question, 37th. B. B is the answer. Where is Nagarwala? No. Karnataka. 36, 36 is B. 37? B. 37 also is B. 3 and 4. Kukti is in Himachal Pradesh. Sultanpur is in Gurgaon, Haryana. Gurugram. Kangar Ghati. Where is Kangar Ghati? Bastar. Chhattisgarh. What is it? Bastar. Like any... Sudan. Bastar. Naxalite prone region. And there is a IAS officer called O.P. Chaudhary. Okay. He brought in lots of changes. He brought in education reform there. Almost there were, uh, the literacy rate was 50%. He brought it to 87%. We can see Project Bastar. So much changes now. People prefer Bastar for education now. <coughs> Kukti is in Himachal Pradesh, Sultanpur is in Haryana. So answer is 3 and 4. Where is Kangargati? Bastar. Bastar is in Chhattisgarh. Next option, 38. Bacteria belong to photosynthetic phycoplankton are also probably the most abundant photosynthetic organism. Where do you think the oxygen which we breathe comes from? Plants. Photosynthesis, right? Oceans have any link with us? Like we breathe from the oceans. Do you know we both breathe from the oceans? Oceans. We breathe from the oceans. How is it linked? Our breath, our breath and the oceans. I read the question. These bacteria belong to the photosynthetic phytoplankton. They are among the primary producers in the ocean. That's a large percentage of photosynthetic production of oxygen. Hmm. Okay. Twenty percent of what we breathe is from the ocean. Okay. The plants, the phytoplankton and zooplankton in the ocean, uh, th that produces what? What do they produce? They produce oxygen. Okay. So we take in that oxygen and give it carbon dioxide. So twenty percent of breathing is dependent on the ocean. You can write it in climate change question. If any question on climate change comes, how ocean is related to, start from the individual level, how it affects us, how it affects the society, how it affects our agriculture, agriculture, how it affects the submergence of coastal areas, start with the individual, how it affects you, you breathe because of the ocean, okay, interlink them, that would be a very good answer to start with. So here answer is C2 and 3, these bacteria are very important. If any question on bacteria or microorganisms comes also, you can write. These microorganisms are necessary for our survival because we respire through them. You can link them. You can draw a diagram of oceans and then link them. How, how carbon dioxide is produced there, how oxygen is produced there, how we intake oxygen produced from that. Okay? Interlinking is very important in this. Option is uh, B and C. The answer is C, 2 and 3. Procospera and Florococcus. This Florococcus is very important. You know why this Cocos, how do the bacteria get their names? Shape. Cocos is round in shape. That's why they are called Prochlorococcus. Okay. Rod shape they are called? Bacillus. Lactobacillus is a bacteria which is important for what? Milk into curd. Or uh, it's a milk bacteria. Next question. What is the answer? Servants of India Society. 
If you don't know, also search for the similarity. No, I don't know the answer. Like, how would you get the answer? Krishna Krishna. <laughs> Go in the way. Got it? Option A and option D. As Krishna Krishna. Right? If you don't know anything, you will get 50% of the answer right. Answer is Gopal Krishna Gopal. Yeah. Eliminating the options. Use it for eliminating. So that you are left at two options. After you finish all the questions, come back to this question. Think. Mm. No, no. You have to mark the answers from these two options. Krishna Sai. One, one among these will be correct. Gopal Krishna Gokhale will be correct or Krishna Sai will be correct. Okay. Mahadev Govindra and Motilal Nehru will be wrong. Eliminate those two. And next row. Hmm. Be the answer. answer. That is anti similarity. I'll teach you that later. FAOLX is a database of dash. What? See ya. Think, think. Yes, well, the database of dash on food, agriculture, and natural resource management. Huh? Continue, you What is FAO? Food and Agriculture Organization. Okay. Answer is A. National legislation policies and bilateral agreements. 